For this stem bite, we're going to look at the physics of DVD players. So we think about it, a movie is really just a whole bunch of data. Individual pixel brightnesses that make up a whole picture, which together make up this whole big movie. DVDs are designed to store data, and we can see a hint to how that data is stored by this crazy rainbow that we see when we look at a DVD or CD. The rainbow is caused by diffraction. Diffraction by millions of tiny grooves carved into this DVD. In the same way that old records used to work, there's a long, continuous, swirling groove all the way around the DVD. In that groove, there's peaks and valleys. The reason we can store so much on a DVD is because that groove is so incredibly small. Rather than reading that groove with a needle, the way old record players used to work, we use laser light to actually read the groove of a DVD. That means that inside this DVD player, there's a small little laser. That laser follows along the groove, it reads the peaks as ones and the valleys as zeros, and turns the whole DVD into a stream of data. DVDs relied on lasers that were kind of in the red or infrared part of the visible spectrum. Newer technology like Blu-rays actually uses blue colored lasers. Blue light has like half the wavelength of red light, which means you can store the data even closer together. And so a single disc can contain more than twice the amount of information that it did before. As the resolution of our television and movies continues to improve, scientists and engineers have to come up with even better ways to store data cheaply and in a really small space. Perhaps the next step is to use ultraviolet lasers to store the data in even smaller spaces. I'm sure the scientists who invented the laser never imagined it would be a central part of everybody's home theater system. Stand by.